Hi everyone, my name is Enhaxed and welcome to another episode of Outer Wilds. Here we are on the launch pad as you can see about to get into the ship for the first time. Nice and easy. Looks like we've got a suit there. Probably should put that on, yes. Lots of stuff stowed. Certainly looks like tinned fish there <laughs> on the top of the pile. And we've got here a ship's log. So here we are on Timber Hearth. We've got a rumor mode, which is that. and I heard about some lunar ruins. And a map of the system. I'm thinking for our first trip, we'll probably go to the moon. It's not especially adventurous, I know, but it was sort of hinted at by some of the dialogues. I actually had to start again, unfortunately, and go through all of the beginning training bits uh, to get to start this recording because it didn't seem to record uh, what I'd done, unfortunately. probably are in orbit by now, but there's no, no sense in not making sure. Could be embarrassing to fall back down. Yeah, I think, I think we're definitely, definitely in space by now, since we've just passed the sun. Oh, yes, good. We're not in intergalactic space yet. Space to match velocity works, but not roll. It seems, of course, it is Q for unbuckle. calculated the best possible acceleration and deceleration. Except I don't want to go all the way to the surface. So I'll try and cut it a bit close. There we go. Doesn't seem to be an orbit as such, unless I'm missing something. Certainly match velocities, but you drift out of velocity, out of uh, sync very quickly. Now that's the village, I think. I wouldn't mind finding the Nomai stuff. 
Nomai ruins that were supposed to be on the planet. I think we saw them with the scout launcher as well. another moon rather than the same planet so we'll lock on to Atom Rock like there's something down there on the surface in the crater. Tools or something. I think we should land and investigate. Rotation is so fast, it's uh, a little tricky to keep up with. There we go. Suit on, out we go. Very dark. Better put the flashlight on. Okay, this is what I saw from orbit. <laughs> Just a little bit of a lip on the edge there. A recording. Church of Search Notes, property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact matches the composition of the ice from the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Atle Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. So there was some kind of cataclysm. We have a planet missing. Oxygen tank and okay. An old pick that I can't pick up. Nothing else here is really jumping out at me. I might take off again and see what I can see. Hourglass Twins, Giants Deep, 
Brittle Hollow, which has been mentioned a bunch. Some of them have moons as well, it looks like. The Interloper, which looks like a comet. It's like a microscopic solar system. You are here. I do like that. All right, time to take off again. Obviously, the key to all of this. So strange lights on the ground, like a path. Archways. Another path, it seems. A clock, perhaps. I guess we should try to follow it. There's nowhere else to go. Don't seem to be able to jump over the little wall, so... Interesting. Almost like a broken machine, I would say. Where are they seats in the corners? Yeah, it definitely looks like the machine's broken in some way. Perhaps that looked like it almost had a piece ripped out of it. The cover bent back.
broken bridge. That's just a piece of the bridge or something I should go down and look at. I've got my jetpack because I've got the suit on. I'm glad I didn't take it off because I was home. But not enough power in this gravity except I have a booster, I think it says. Okay, hold space. There we go. That's better. And the bridge seems to end in a waterfall. There's always something behind the waterfall. Oldest trick in the book. Hired a secret entrance behind the waterfall. I'm starting to wonder if they're geysers or waterfalls that are upside down. It's all a bit strange. Okay, I can move this. Nice. Okay, down we go. that blue energy. I'm using it to power the ship as far as I can. stand on the other side there, but that's a pretty thick torrent of water. See if I can get this to push me up. Okay. I need to refill my oxygen tank. Oh, I guess that was just breaking the surface. I must have been underwater. Okay, so this is somewhere new. More bodies. Bones, and anyway. I saw that upstairs. This definitely looks like a machine of some kind. Almost like a screen at that wall. And another. Something else glowing blue. Pick up Ash Twin Projection Stone. Insert Ash Twin Projection Stone. Wow, so it's some kind of projection system. Oh, okay. Wow. I can move around. Strange. They're linked to the energy as well, it looks like masks. Okay. I wonder if I get a different show on the other one. Okay, I can translate. My 
gratitude for the latest shipment, Mona. This war should be the last we need for the Ash Twin. My life is flashing before my eyes, it seems. Backwards. And I'm back at the beginning. It all looks the same. Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? The chip's all fueled up and ready to go. Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You look half asleep. But that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's a tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before the launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Okay, so he doesn't seem to be aware. Well, looks like that's a probably a, a good spot to end the video for today. I'll see you all next time.